Sports Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test Question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, a homeowner plans to hang wallpaper on one wall of a living room that is 20 feet long. If a strip of the wallpaper is 20 inches wide and strips are hung vertically, how many strips of wallpaper will the homeowner need to completely cover the wall? So in this case, it might be helpful to make a little diagram to visually understand what we're doing in this case. Of course, the homeowner is hanging strips of wallpaper on a wall that is 20 feet long. And each strip of wallpaper is 20 inches wide. So in other words, this is going to be a division problem. We're going to take the length of the wall, which is 20 feet, and we're going to divide it by uh, the width of each piece of wallpaper, which is 20 inches. And again, that will tell us how many of these strips of wallpaper we're going to need to put on this wall to completely cover it. Of course, we run into a problem right here because we're given uh, measurements in terms of feet and measurements in terms of inches. So that's going to prompt us to make a conversion. And for that, you have to know that there are uh, 12 inches in every foot. So in this case, I'm going to quickly convert 20 feet to be in terms of inches. This becomes 20 times 12. Uh, 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. Add a 0 placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. Add this up. This is 240. So this becomes 240 inches, which is the same thing as 20 feet, divided by 20 inches. Uh, now this math actually is pretty easy to do. Cross out our corresponding units. Cross out these two corresponding zeros. 24 divided by 2 is 12. In other words, this homeowner is going to have to hang 12 strips of wallpaper to completely cover this wall. So this one is D, of course.